Hey guys, Rob here. Welcome to Glidal Tech. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Advantage Fedora that I bought um, back at the end of July. Hey guys, um, like I said in the intro, this is my Indiana Jones Fedora I got from Advantage Hats. Um, they're based out of Germany. Um, I ordered this thing at the end of July. It shipped the day after, I believe, but it took a whole month to, you know, do the entire shipping process in Germany, go out of Germany, get over to the United States, and then uh, get, you know, delivered to me. So I've been waiting for this thing for a little bit, and I am so excited to open it. Um, it's a pretty big box, so it's, it's going to be really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to angle the camera down so you guys can see me opening it and doing the whole unboxing and whatnot. Okay, so this fills up most of the view screen, so um, I was expecting that, but anyway, I'm going to cut this tape open on the side here. It's a decent amount of tape packed in there, but as soon as I saw it through it, it should be fine. There we go, that's one side. This next one, there's not as much. Alright, and then start the cut down the center. There we go, it is open, the box, officially. So, let's open this thing up, paper, and then there's, oh, there's another box inside. Okay, was not expecting that. <clears throat> oh, let's see, what is this here? This is, got a little piece of, that looks like cork board, and then also I believe this is a business card, yes. Add vintage hats. Um, okay, so here's this. I'm gonna adjust my focus so you guys can see this. There we go. Add vintage hats. That's a pretty nice, you know, business card. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, fixing the focus. There we go. All right, set these aside for now because I have no idea what they're for. And that's uh, a good thing I didn't put the. <laughs> my letter opener away because I need to open the second box. Alright, that one was a lot easier to get into. Alright, opening this one up. And ooh, I see it! Okay, cardboard I can set to the side. Ooh, alright, there's the hat. Double check, make sure there's nothing else in the box. There is not. I can chuck this thing to the side. Alright, so opening this thing up. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, that thing looks so cool. Oh, okay. That's, I really like how this thing looks. It looks like the classic indie hat. Putting that thing on and, ooh, that feels nice. <laughs> oh, this thing's really cool, okay. I'm suspecting this is for um, padding the hat. I can take it and flip open the brim here and stick it in there if I need to make it you know, a bit bigger or a bit smaller, but that thing fits actually pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna tilt the camera back up now that the unboxing is done. And there we go, this is, oh, this is a nice hat. It feels really comfortable. I like wearing this thing. The brim is a lot smaller than my last indie hat, but that's to be expected. Uh, I think I got an extra large brim on that one by accident. But, oh, it's, it's got a nice interior. Um, very smooth. Um, it's got a leather band, it's got his Advantage Hats logo right here. Uh, it's size 57, which is the closest to what my hat size was. Uh, when I measured it, I would get a 57, or 56 and a half to a 57 and a half. So I went with 57. Um, because it was either 56, 57, or 60 when I went to order this thing. So, uh, yeah, this is, it's pretty stiff at the moment, but I think it's just because it's brand new. Um, I can kind of crumple it in here. See, I can kind of crumple it up, and then it really just pops back up into its set shape, which is very cool. And then, uh, the brim is a snap brim, so I can flatten it out and then snap it back down to shape, but put this thing on and that's an indie fedora. Ooh. 
I am so happy with this thing. I was, I've been waiting for this thing, like I said, for a little over a month, and I am so excited, and I'm so happy with it. It was totally worth the wait. I will link down in the description where I got this hat from, the website and everything. Um, I think this cost me, uh, I believe it was, I think it was, I'm not exactly sure how, mu how much it was. I will put it down in the description how much this thing cost. But I think it was a little less than $200. But, yeah, it was totally worth it, I think. It was, this thing is really comfortable to wear. This is, it's a really nice hat. I like how it fits. I like how it feels. I'm definitely going to be wearing this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm definitely going to be wearing this pretty frequently because that's really cool. But yeah, this is the last piece in my Indiana Jones costume that I needed to get. Um, I won't be um, showing you guys the entire costume put together today because, um, well, I don't want this review video to be overshadowed by that. Um, I'll do a separate video on that a little later, but I'm, I'm so happy with this thing. I cannot wait to see the entire costume put together. I mean, initial review, I, I absolutely recommend this thing. I obviously have not worn it. Um, out and about for hours on end, you know, days, weeks sort of thing, but um, I can't make that assumption or make that, um, I can't judge the hat based on that until I've actually done that for a bit, so, um, yeah, I'm so excited about this thing, and uh, like I said, I can't wait to put it on and see it with the rest of the costume. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see some more Indiana Jones stuff from me, you can check it out over here. Uh, up top is my most recent Indiana Jones review where I reviewed the uh, the revolver and his uh, his bag, his satchel that he uses. And then down below you can see where I just basically showed you all the pieces that I have so far um, for the costume, which I will be redoing that a little later with the hat. Um, yeah, as always, please subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you on the next one.